Buddy. Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? City folk, get along now, stranger. I've been trying to breed bug snacks together. It's been real tricky because they don't got any obvious, um, bits to them. I've, uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? <laughs> uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family, and I thought I could really use one of those. I did. But then they, uh, can we talk about something else? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. <sighs> the next night I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Be. Wiggles a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Lisbeth? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. I like to think they're all like Sprout. Helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Can we talk about something else? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lizbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. So, even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. M maybe a half dozen or so? So long! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Picnic bug. Tropica bug. Oh, <laughs> 
just a bad dream. Oh, they're all so cute! Thank you so much! Hopefully my little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. Take care. Hi! You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Bethika here, and she's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party! Well, howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. I don't take the nicknames. Wambus will do fine. Or Mr. Troublehand if you're a doctor. I don't take the Hope you're, uh, having a good time, buddy. You should go and mingle with your new friends. Oh, hey, you remember Charlie? How's my little Sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Grimble, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. check my barn soon. Can't be too careful around these grumps. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug-infused. So it's about as strong as you? <laughs> I give this party a two out of ten. Uh, come on, everybody. It's a party. Woo-woo. Drink, mingle, get wild. Uh, Befica, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? <laughs> With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Grandpa. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love! That's why your wife left you! I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here. And... Don't act like you're in charge! If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here! Don't you mean Triffany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! It don't make me wrong! You all want trip me back so bad? Go find her yourself! Huh. 
I know all about love. Y'all don't even know. Just because I don't weep all the time. OMG, that was so juicy. This party is now a four out of 10. There, there, Charlie. Nothing to be scared of. Papa's not gonna let those mean old grumpuses eat you. Well, that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Look well, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. Oh, come on, at least try it. You gotta be curious, right? Huh? How can you write about bug snacks without first hand experience? That's the spirit. Strabby. Ow. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, as long as you're fine, I'll um, I'll get out of your hair. I wish I could be like Lizbert. She always knew what to do, what to say. When she made a plan, I knew I could just follow it and I'd be okay. But now it's just up to me. Till next time. Oh, hi. Everything good? I only came out here for Triffany. But sometimes I wonder if she'd do the same for me. We'll see you later.
讲。Is more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. <laughs> Buddy, I got something to show you. Follow me. <clears throat> Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox. 
Lisbert was gone most of the time, so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we'd just leave it in here. And since you've kind of taken over Liz's job, I'm sure we can do the same with you. Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> oh, and what's this? I think you might have a letter right now. Go ahead and check. Dear buddy, that's you. Thanks for walking me back home and also for saving me from the brink of starvation. I figure since you'll be staying in Snacksburg for a while, you might need some basics. Here's a care package with everything I could scrape together. I hope you find yourself at home soon. Best wishes, XOXO, Mayor Bilbo Fiddlepie. That's me. Well, what do you think? Oh, sorry. I, I just thought it'd be more fun if I read it out loud. But, um... I guess that defeats the point of leaving a letter. Huh. Great question, buddy. And that leads me to part two of Operation Gift Buddies. This way! I was thinking you could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut. I know it's kind of a fixer-upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're gonna finish it someday. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before you know it, this'll feel like home. Bye! I only came out here. Hey! The 
Oh, that old coot, Wambus. He thinks bug snacks grow if you plant them in dirt. How's that make any sense? Take care. the deal of a lifetime.
friend, welcome. Come on over, take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. Bug snacks are the cherry on this grump Sunday. If I can make it back home with a pack full of these babies, <laughs> I'll be a bona fide celebrity. Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you. Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 bunk snacks. What do you say? Whoa, 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 can't afford it? No problem. 
I got a specialty item just for you, cheap as free. Follow me, pal. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? Uh, my wind. I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Triffany Ladablog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? Yeah? You haven't run into Wambus, have ya? I swear, that man has a head harder than granite. You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> Oh. Mm hmm.
my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? Ha! 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 
Isn't that nifty? So cool. Neat. Oh, that's curious. Ribblepeeds only look like they have bones. They're squishy all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, that'd be real swell. <laughs> Oh, you're too kind. Meet me inside. Check it out. These murals are still preserved. As far as I knew, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, what's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Talk to you later. and how long those snacks were in there. Did you find anything else in the chamber? Hmm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm, 
Hmm. Well, I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. If Wambus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to c and but it's just easier to, uh, stay out here with the bones. Oh, my sweet dear. I guess the big lug really misses me. Well, I miss him too, but I'm still mad. I thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Hey, hey, you could pay me three of those cheap moves. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth.
Okay, okay. I know you're just itching to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want a fighter, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and I wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cram that fighter in my smacker. Fright. <clears throat> uh. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey. You're my best, and only, customer. I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs> If you make but I gotta bunger 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 Bunger, 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 had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you 
Gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Triffy, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't gonna give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Uh, maybe even lend a helping paw? You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. Let's hope the cactus doesn't get jealous. What's that now? Nothing. Bug snacks are toads delish. 10 out of 10 would eat again. I could just sit here eating bug snacks all day. So I do. Later. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Nice night out. I wish I could be like Lisburg when she made a plan. Goodbye. Stranger, I won't mince words. Thanks for bringing Triffy home. Get along now. How you doing? Oh, that old coot, Wambus. He thinks... Bye-bye. Ooh. like a campfire.
nice night out. Boom. 
Hmm. Bug snack. Okay, uh, bye. Another fine day. Oh yeah. Another fine day behind us.